Hi, good morning. My name is Sheikh Ismail Ali Pasha from Department of Botany and Gabin College. Today, discuss about the fifth chapter in bryophytes. Right, it is the first semester syllabus synopsis. Right, bryophytes. Right, bryophytes. The term bryophytes originates from the word bryon, meaning mosses, and phyton, meaning plants. Bryophyta includes embryophytes like mosses, hornworts, and liverworts. These are small plants that grow in a shady and dumb area. They lack vascular tissues. They don't produce the flower and seeds. Instead, they reproduce the through spores. The study of bryophytes is called as bryology. And the another one is why are the bryophytes called amphibian plants? Right? The bryophytes are called amphibian of the plant kingdom because they are terrestrial plants but require water to complete their life cycle at the time of sexual reproduction so told that the bryophytes called the amphibian plants right next the general characters of bryophytes the plants occurs in damp and shaded areas the plant body is thallus like a protostrate or erected it is attached to the stuffed by the rhizoids which are unicellular or multicellular they lack two vestigial structure and have a root like stem like and leaf like structures Plants lack the vascular system. This vascular system is nothing but xylem and phloem. The dominant part of the plant body is gametophyte, which is the haploid. The thylite gametophyte is differentiated into rhizoids, axes, and leaves. The gametophyte bears multicellular sex organs, is a photosynthetic. The antheridium produces anthro anthrozoids, which are the biflagellate. The shape of an archegonium like a flask and produces one egg. It is the classification of bryophytes. Bryophyte is a class into three classes: hepatic opsida, antheroceropsida, bryopsida. It is the orders. It is orders. It is the orders. Like a or some of the orders classes orders. Right. The according to the latest classification, bryophyta is divided into three classes: hepatic opsida is nothing but liverworts, antheroceropsida is nothing but hornworts, bryopsida nothing but mosses. Like it is the classification of the bryophyta and reproduction of bryophytes is in sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction common. The sexual reproduction antheridium antheridium is a the male male sex organ and archegonium the archegonium is a female sex organ. The produce the sperm and egg after fertilization zygote is formed. Asexual reproduction takes place of fragmentation or bud or gemma cups. Right? The fragment is nothing but the uh, the uh, the formation of the the algae or bryophytes the same is like a small small uh, small small pieces this small piece grow into the full form of the plant growth right right importance of the bryophytes the importance of bryophytes is the use to the medicinal uses in research packing material and food and indicator of plants in seed beds the formation of stones the use to the bryophytes right Next one is the bryophytes. The, uh, is the Marcansia. The Marcansia is a genus of bryophytes. They are in liverworts and found in the moist and shady places. They lack two roots, stem and leaves. The plant body is thallic. Right? The classification of Marcansia. Now, how to produce the Marcansia? Nothing but the kingdom is a plant. A division is the Hepaticophyta. Classes Hepaticopsida order is Marcansiales, family is a Marcansiales, genus is a Marcansia. The Marcansia, all right. The characteristics of Marcansia the common habit in moisture and shady places. The plant body is thallite, the thallus is dorsiventral, flat, and dichotomously branched. The gametophyte is the dominant phase of the plant life. The dorsal surface contains the dot. The diamond shaped marking which has a central pore in the middle of the gaseous exchange. There are chambers present the internally beneath the polygonal markings. The ventral surface contains the scales and rhizoids. The rhizoids are unicellular on the root like structure. The main function is to anchor the plant to substrate them and absorb the water and minerals. The reproductive bodies are present on the do do dorsal surface. They bear a cup shaped structure called gemma for a, a, a sexual reproduction. The sexual reproductive organs are born on the stalk called anthridiophore and archegoniophore. They contain male and female reproductive organs called the anthridia and archegonia respectively. 
right the markansia reproduction the asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is markansia is by fragmentation or forming the specialized structure known as a gemma this gemma structure see that they reproduce the asexual by the gemma which are is sex asexual buds they are formed in the receptive place known as a gemma cups gemma cups are present on the dorsal surface near the midrib of the gametophytic thalli the gemma are multicellular and green the gemma detach from the parent plant and germinate to give rise to the new plant right next one sexual reproduction the markansia is dioecious male and female sex organs develop on different thalli male reproductive organ is antheridia and the female reproductive organ is archegonia right fertilization they need water for the fertilization like other bryophytes the neck canal cells and the ventral canals the cell distinguish from the mycelium moss which oozes out as the archegonia swell of the absorbing the water right it is next one is sporophyte and the formation of sporophyte the diploid zygote does not undergo the meiosis the immediately it rather divides mitotically and develops into a multicellular structure called as a sporophyte the sporophyte is a differentiation into root to seta and capsule it is not free living stage it is the depending on the gametophyte for the nourishment this is the life cycle of markansia see that this is the picture the anthidia spores anthidia stems archegonium archegonium form the uh, anthidia the both are fertilizers of the form the zygote this is the gemma gemma to form the thallus male anthidia spores it is the life cycle of the markansia right finaria finaria is a moss with about 2 210 species known 18 from india it is commonly known as a corn mosses the word finaria was taken from the latin word finis the meaning row it is a cosmopolitan bryophyte that is found in the both tropical and temperate region of the world it grows well in the moist and shady places it grows densely in patches of a bright green color it can be found living on river banks and moist walls rocks and uh, rock crevices humidity soils and peat tracts the classification of finaria the kingdom is a plant a division is a bryophyta class is a bryophyta orders a finarialis finarials family is a finariaci genus is a finaria the plant is a this is life structure is the finaria right the extreme morphology of finaria the finaria is divided into two stages leafy gametophyte and sporophyte the gametophyte is the main plant body that is they represented by the zoonile and adult stage the haploid plant body is divided into stem leaves and rhizoids the stem is erect branched green and photosynthetic the branches arise from the lower portion of the stem the leaves are arranged spirally on the stem they are scattered towards the base and crowded at the apex they are sessile and almost ovate in shape and have a distinct midrib the stem is fixed uh, fixated on the substrate on the rhizoid they are branched and multicellular and appear like a root hairs it is the extra morphology of the finaria right the re- reproduction of finaria the finaria reproduce by both vegetative and sexual methods right the vegetative reproduction is by the primary protonema secondary protonema bulbils gemma apospore this is the formation of the vegetative reproduction involved the some types right next one is the sexual reproduction in finaria sexual reproduction is a oogomous type The male reproductive structure is a antheridium and the female reproductive structure is a archegonium. The plant is a monoecious and means nothing but both male and female reproductive organ on the same plant, right? That, that is called monoecious. And atoecious, male and female reproductive organs grow on different branches of the same plant. Different plant are the same plant is called as a atoecious, right? Next, the life cycle of Markansia. right the finaria gametophyte no there is nothing but the life cycle of finaria gametophyte anthrax the exuges fertilization zygote embryo finaria archegonia group spore mother cell meiosis spores it is the right next one evaluation of sporophyte in bryophytes right there are mainly two theories regarding the evaluation of sporophytes the theory of progressive evaluation the theory of regressive evaluation 
right the theory of progression he was told that the according to this theory the early sporophyte of bryophytes was uncomplicated and almost all of the sporogenous tissue was fertile example resica and from this type of sporophyte the more complex sporophytes are said to be evolved by the process of progressive sterilization of potential sporogenous tissue this theory is also known by the name of the theory of sterilization right it is told that the theory of progressive evaluation is the main important sterilization told that thing next theory of regressive evaluation according to this theory the simplest sporophyte of resica is most advanced kind which is said to have evolved by the simplification or progressive reduction of the more complicated sporophytes of the mosses this is the also known as retrogressive theory it is the name retrogressive theory right it is the our topic right okay thank you